Today, nearly 17 years after the crime, John Battaglia is set to die for killing his young daughters. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren is live with the latest efforts from his attorneys to try to stop the execution. Jen. Russ, John Battaglia murdered his two young children in his loft in this deep Ellen building back in 2001. His attorneys want to delay his execution, but Battaglia has found little sympathy from the public and from the prosecutor who successfully tried this case. May 2, 2001, in an act of vengeance against his ex wife, John Battaglia shot his nine and six year old daughters, Faith and Liberty. The girl's mother was on the phone, helplessly listening to their pleas. Over the years, Battaglia's attorneys have argued he does not have a rational understanding of why he's facing punishment. But former prosecutor Howard Blackman says the murders, which he describes as diabolical and savage, stand out in his mind like few others. Out of spite, only to get back at the mother of the girls, his, his ex-wife. It was to put a lifetime curse uh, on her, and this is the way he chose to do it. Twice before a judge has delayed Battaglia's execution, this latest appeal seeks to do that again. As of right now, he is set to die in less than 12 hours by lethal injection. Russ and Karen? And Jen, do we think that his execution will actually go through this time? You know, that appeal has been successful. It's been delayed a couple of times, even at the 11th hour before. But a state judge has commented on this, has said that he is highly intelligent, that Battaglia is simply faking mental illness to prolong his life. We'll see what happens later tonight. Back to you. All right, Jen, thanks.